messed your mind up, messed your heart up. Hit, hit us, hit us. But even in the midst of that, you still here. Amen. Somebody Amen. thank God just for Amen. still being here. Yeah. You still in your right mind. You still doing. Look, listen, you refuse to give up regardless how hard it was. You still doing what the Lord has assigned for you to do. And guess what? If you're doing that, you are on the right mind. Road. You're on the right road. Say, say, come on and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm still on the right road. I'm still on the right road. Now, I refuse, I refuse to, let to let anybody pull me off, pull me off this, road. this road. Now, go ahead and give them a praise for that. Hallelujah. I refuse. Y'all listen. We got to get to the point where we refuse to let people, other people, pull us out of the places where God has assigned us. Amen. We have allowed people to pull us. Out from the places where God put us. Mm -hmm. Now, now, the people who put y'all should have pulled y'all in the places where you put yourself. Mm -hmm. They leave you there. Mm -hmm. Come on now. They leave you in the place where you put yourself, but they're trying to pull you out of the place God put you. Mm -hmm. Because they know you're on the right road. They know something is about to break loose for you. There are some things about to change for you. There are some things that are happening for you. And even if you can't see it right now, guess what? They see it. They see God about to do something for you. They see God is changing some things for you. Listen, if you don't believe that they see it, the next time they come to you, they, they, I, I bet you say, well, you know, well, you know, this, this time if I had said something to her like that, she would have cussed me out. <laughs> come on now. If you come on, if, if I had done this to them a while back, they, they would have told me off, they would have acted up with me, but they see you changing because you're on the right road. So somebody ought to say, Lord, I thank you for putting me on the right road. Hallelujah. Right Hallelujah. Right Hallelujah. Right the, the, the book of, in, 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 in the book of, in the, in, let's go to Acts 9. Acts 9. Turn your Bible to the Acts 9. Mm-hmm. Acts 9. We, we're still talking about, about Saul becoming Paul. How Saul had his journey. And I'm letting you know now that all of us, all of us got a journey. Amen. Yes, amen. Come on now. Every, every, all of us on a journey. Don't, don't, don't think because you see somebody else on a journey, oh, that's just them. No, you're on a journey too. But let me tell you this. Don't get your journey twisted and mixed up with somebody else's journey. Because here's what, y'all know what I found out? That we so busy watching other folk on their journey, so we start trying to judge our journey by their journey. Mm -hmm. We keep saying, well, Lord, look how they're doing it. Look, they look, they're prospering. They look, they've been doing better. Daddy keeps trying keep try to tell you, don't judge your journey by their journey. Because, see, some of the hell that they've been through, some of the things that they went through, you could not have dealt with what they went through. But, but I hear a lot of people keep praying, talking about, who if I had the patience of Job? No! Job had to go through that himself. I don't know. I, I, I said, the deal, I probably couldn't have dealt with what Job dealt with. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So don't judge your journey by somebody else's journey. Because I told you before, both of you are still going to the same place. Amen. Somebody might be on a little rough road right now. Somebody might be on the smooth road. But to give it a little time, you'll see. After a while, you'll be on the smooth road and they on the rough road. But all you got to do is just stay on the road. Amen. Don't stop. Don't get off. Don't turn around. Keep going. Here's what he says. Now, number three, we're going to start back at number three. Nine and three. As he journeyed, he came near Demarcus. He, as he journeyed, he came near Demarcus. I told you, Demarcus actually means a strong fabric. It, and and it, 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 it's, delicate, it's delicate, but it's, it's for a covering. It, 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 it's a strong fabric, but dedicated, but dedicated enough to cover. Somebody said to cover. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Here's what it says. He's on his way to Demarcus. And now that he's on his way to Demarcus, uh, and, and, and suddenly a light shined around him from heaven. And he fell down on the ground, and he heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And he said, to, he said, who are you, Lord? Then he said, I am Jesus, whom you persecuted. It is hard for you to kick against the goal. Now, now, now I want you all to hear that. He said, it's hard for you to kick against the goal. It's, it's hard for you to come against me. It's hard... For you to, 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 to not do what you're supposed to do. Uh, uh, he, he, says, he says, it's hard for you to kick against the goal. So he trembled and astonished and said, Lord, what do you want me to do? 
Then the Lord said to him, Arise and go into the city, and I will tell you what to do when you get there. Now, I want you to hear this, hear this, hear this, hear this. T today, I want to talk to you. Uh, I, I talked to you before, and it's still under the same, same thing, uh, being on the right road. But, but today, I want to talk to you about the signs. The, the signs of life. The signs of life. Signs of life. Uh, the other day, I was here at the library. And as I was walking out of the library, I seen some of the, um, one of the young ladies at the DMV, she was giving a driving test to somebody. So as they gave her the driving test, she came up, and they came up, and they came to the stop sign, to the stop light. And they came to the stop light and went across the bridge, came back, and came back across the tall part of the bridge. Then they went back down towards the DMV. So after leaving there, I went to the DMV. While I was in there, I said, I asked the girl, I said, why do y'all take people now through town? Because I remember when I was, when for my driver's life, I don't know many of y'all, we didn't come through town. We stayed all on the back roads and over near the highway department. So I said, why, why do y'all bring them through town now? She said, the reason we bring them through town now is to check them in a different atmosphere. See how they will react in a different atmosphere. She said, when we're on the rural areas and stuff, she said, you know, cars are just coming by and stuff falling. She said, but when we get in town, you now have to interact, interact with different cars, with people stopping in front of you. She said, and what we're really trying to do is test their braking system and their acceleration. She said, we're trying to test them in their braking and their acceleration. She said, so what we do is we bring them to the different signs. And when she said that, I was riding back home, I was like, ooh, Lord, that's, that's the word. That, that's, that's the word for us. What the Lord is doing is the same thing for us. He's now taking us and putting us in different environments mm -hmm. to see how we're going to react when we're in certain environments. Come on now. Because hit us, hit us. Because you can be on your job, and then you done got so used to being on the job, everybody on the job know you. You know that environment. But that is that what he's doing is he's now taking us in different places. He's putting us around different people. He's putting us in different areas. And when he does this, he, does, he wants to see how we're going to react when, when other situations come up. Mm -hmm. Here's what he's doing. That is that also he's checking our breaking systems. <laughs> he wants to see that when we start going and he starts sending us in different places, are we going to hit breaks and quit? Or are we going to accelerate and keep going? Mm. I'm waiting for y'all to catch this. Mm -hmm. So, but he said, in order for this to happen, what he's doing is, he's bringing signs in our lives. Mm. There are two different signs that we, are, that we have to obey in the natural. And that is the stop sign and the light and, and, and the, um, um, the traffic lights. We have the stop sign and the traffic lights. Now, 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 what y'all, 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 what's where we go with this? He, he said, Dad would show me that, that, that both of them, the traffic signs and the stop signs, both have the same purpose. And that purpose is for us to stop to them, it is, for safety, and not only for safety, but to give right away. Y'all hear that? It is. Both stop signs, the stop sign, the, 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 the octagon, or whatever you call it, that sign, and the stop light, both have the same purpose. Both purpose is for us to come to you and stop. But while we're stopping, it's for our safety and for us to give right away. Now, even though both of them have the same purpose, they're still different. Ah, <laughs> even though they have the same purpose, they are still different. You don't believe it? I'll show you. When you come to the stop sign, you have the authority, you have the mindset, you have the ability, here it is, to stop for safety and to allow other folk to come through. You. Mm -hmm. But when you come to the traffic light, the traffic light dictates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. I mean, are y'all yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So when we come with, it is the traffic light that dictates when we leave yes. and when we stop. Oh, yeah. I should have had it. It'll come together. Hold up. Yeah. It, it, it's this. It's this. 
So that is said, what we have been doing on our right road, on our road to destiny, there are times when he will put stop signs, and there are times when he will put traffic lights. <laughs> there are times when he will put stop signs, and the stop sign is he will allow you to deal with the situation. <laughs> Then there are times when he will put traffic lights. The time he deals. Oh, I'm going to know somebody that gets it. He deals with the situation. But both situations still have the same purpose. For us to deal with it. Whether or not it's you or it's him, you still got to deal with it. He said, I bring you to the stop sign, your choice. I'm bringing you there. It is up to you if you if you come in and try to be safe with it and allow other folks to come through, or you pull out and hurt and kill somebody. Yeah. And many of us, many of us, many of us sitting here right now, you don't know where stop sign you at. <laughs> you don't know if you're at the traffic light or you have the stop sign yourself. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you how you can tell the difference. When you come to the stop sign, ain't nobody there but you. When you come to the traffic light, there are signs to show you when to go, when to stop. Then it says the difference in this is this. Here the same purpose, but here's the difference in it. Then it says there's something that you're going to deal with, I'm going to 